Oh, I'm crying manly tears. That was fucking glorious. <laughs> What's the crack, guys? It's your man Dan back with another Rugby World Cup video. And today, well, today is the big day. Um, it's Judgment Day, and I mean, just after witnessing a fucking unbelievable Rugby World Cup final, the two heavyweights at a uh, Rugby Union World clash today. New Zealand um, squared off against Australia. And by God, was it epic! My God, it was like it was a. It, uh, la, 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 la. Right, two, two, one. It was an unbelievable game. It was. It started straight from the off. A penalty from Dan Carr in eight minutes, um, which was the man of the fucking game. Dan Carter, an unbelievable player. The best. Well, that was, that was the best. Um, <clears throat> the best fly half in the world. You know, he had a point to prove today. Really stepped up his game and was definitely the man of the match for me, boys. I think everyone. It's a unanimous decision around anyone who watched that match. That was Dan Carter's game. But Jesus, boys, it was unreal. Gung ho, straight from the off, boys. There was no, there was no period in this game where it was dull. A bar maybe there was a five minute spell where two both teams were kicking the ball back and forth with each other in the early stages of the first half. It's kind of like watching a game of tennis. But bar that, guys, it was un fucking believable. Like let's just get through the talking points, man. Little paper here. Aha. Right, so fucking what did we what happened, boys? Um, the first try of the game was scored by Milner Scudder in the thirty eight minutes. So just on the brink of half time, it was by New Zealand. They were six points up by that stage. So they were just kind of, you can see it was coming. New Zealand were just fucking unbelievable. You know, they deserve it winners, like, worthy winners. And Australia, um, Australia played well, much better. Like, played, uh, up their game a bit. Had to up their game from the Scotland quarterfinal. And they did that against Argentina. Argentina were trying to be too explosive and too quick. From the scrum, that's why um, uh, Australia bet them because we're just. I thought they were more clever. So yeah, fuck boys. Um, it was just there was no put like the match was just so good. Oh, sorry, cut that shit. Right, three, two, one. They're lifting the trophy right now. Prince. Fucking Prince, that Prince Harry Egypt. He's in Egypt, guys. He really is. I know, actually, he's a bit of a lad. It's the other princess in Egypt. Sorry, now, you probably didn't hear a word I said during that, and you shouldn't. But, um, so yeah, it's just, it was just, it, it, like, New Zealand had a point to prove in this game. And having not won a Rugby World Cup outside of their homeland, fine to become the first team to win it three times. So it was just, uh, I think. They really, it really kind of showed. It was really stamping a mark for New Zealand and New Zealand rugby that they are the best. That they are the best team. This is one of the best teams of all time, in my opinion. They're just all across the board. The front row is just irreplaceable. You cannot get any better than the front row. So it's just, uh, it was good. It was, it had it had the tensions rising before the game. New Zealand and Australia will always bring it good. Australia beating them just this year. Um, New Zealand like it was one all. Let's say they both bet each other. So this is, you know, like another proving game, and I think just uh, the player of the game, and I think I mentioned before, an unbelievable Dan Carter. He's retiring from rugby now after this game, and what a way to finish it! He was like Andrea Pirlo with a rugby ball. He just it was such his passing was immense, his kicking was spectacular. I you cannot get any better. He's the best fly half in the world. He just is, and Australia have a number of players which is the best at everything, and the replacements as well are second best. He just it's. Uh, it's it's retarded. It's just pure retarded. And Australia played, you know, with David Pollock coming back in, their their best player on the day without a doubt. Uh, he got the try. He got a try to level them back in it during the second half. Australia had a man sin bin in the fifty second minute, and you were thinking, now this is fucking, or not Australia, New Zealand had a man sin bin in the fifty second minute. So you're thinking, now this is Australia's chance to get back into the game. And it just seemed they scored a try in that thing, and they scored a try or two tries. And basically, a try within the when New Zealand were down to fourteen, and a try just after your man came back. So it was like, um. So then you know there was a bit of hope rise the game. But even at half time, the commentators were saying, or, you know, it would take a miracle for Australia to come back. Like no other, no team has never been trailing by, been trailing by twelve points. Have never a half time. Have never come back to win it. So it was kind of, at that stage, we were thinking. Uh, Australia would really uh, I, I would I didn't believe it I didn't believe they'd come back after seeing what they've done after seeing them in this World Cup several times I just didn't think they had it they had um, they had enough to come back but they definitely put a game then um, they leveled it 
or they didn't level it, but they came close to leveling it. It was 17-21, 21-17 in favour of New Zealand. Um, just uh, not that far on the 54th minute, or going through from the 54th minute to the 64th minute. So a 10 minute period, there was only uh, four points in it. And you were thinking, sure, at that, that stage it was anyone's game. But I always, like, I think everyone kind of knew New Zealand just switched that gear and then went straight back into winning. And and that was it. Um, Kul, I'm going to butcher this name, and I'm terrible. Sorry. Um, Kul Drani scored a try in the 64th minute. And it was just, from there, it was just pure, it was just New Zealand all the way. Um, Dan Carter was showing his absolute, not, his cool knowledge of the game, kicking a drop goal then just to put them further ahead in the 70th minute. And, that, and it's just... It was really kind of, you'd love, just from his point of view, it was just so magnificent. For a man who missed the last World Cup, never, uh, it was his fourth appearance, it was only his only appearance in the final. Um, so it's just, you know, his first and last appearance in a Rugby World Cup final, just to have the game he played was just magnificent. And guys, I, I want to know what you think, it was just... For me, it was just such a lo it was just a beautiful sight to see the two heavyweights of rugby going together, clashing heads, and seeing who's the victor. I always kind of, I I probably predicted in my last video. I won't say it because I'm shit at predictions. That I predicted one of my videos and New Zealand would go on to win it. So yeah, I'm right. Wow. If only Ireland got to the final, but we were shy. We were never going to get to the final. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, it's just been it's, it's been a great experience. I hope. You